Way back in the 80s, there were a ton of magazines making articles for home consoles such as the Ataris and the Commodore line of computers. In this video, I'm focusing on 1987, issue one of the Computes Gazette magazine. These magazines were something special. It was neat to be able to read up on a program, type it in yourself, and run it. You can view the complete library of the Computes Gazette over at archive.org, link in the description. Once there, you can read the magazine articles and even follow along by typing in the programs. I certainly think it's still worthwhile to take your time and type in programs manually, especially for the beginner who is trying to learn how to program in basic or assembly language. However, this step can now be skipped completely as archive.org now contains all of the magazine's programs compiled into a disk library. They are available to download at this link. I thought I would cover one such program in this video called Decipede by James Nessick. To start with, there is an article covering the game on page 50. You'd better keep moving if you want a high score in this game. Giant spiders, wasps, and dragonflies are among the beasts you'll have to contend with. For the Commodore 64, a joystick is required. If you haven't guessed by now, this is a centipede recreation done using Commodore's Petski graphics, the built-in character set, and no sprites were used in the game. The type-in portion of the game is listed starting on page 118. It looks pretty impressive. Let's check it out. Press any key for the menu. Press 1 to play Decipede. And then while it's loading, I just want to say that it, when, it, when the menu starts for Decipede, it asks you to press the trigger and you need the joystick plugged into port 2 to begin playing. So here it is, and I'm going to hit the button, and instead of guns, or instead of wands, you have guns. And there's a spider, there's your centipede coming down. Oh, come on. Yo. One more. All right. Get on! There we go. Go on to level two. So I think this is a pretty cool game done completely in character graphics for the Commodore 64. No sprites. Oh. Primitive sound effects, but gets the job done. Oh, it died. And amazingly responsive and fast. So really cool oh snap yes uh, also the color is not there's not a whole lot of colors in the game But I'm, I'm impressed. It's pretty cool. Oh! Let's so it gets 10,000. Oh! Not quite. Wow, that was pretty cool. Fun to download and fun to play. So don't take my word for it. Check it out yourself over at archive.org, along with the other cool magazines and downloads available for the Computes Gazette magazine. If you know of any other magazine disc archives, please share a link here with me. Thanks for watching.